Let's delve into the intriguing details of Harry and Meghan's recent trip to Costa Rica. According to the Tico Times, the largest English-language newspaper with a storied history dating back to 1956, Harry and Meghan Markle embarked on a discreet journey to this tropical paradise from December 14 to 20. Their destination? The sun-kissed shores of Playa Silo in the neighboring Guanacaste province. However, the report remains conspicuously silent on whether the young ones, Lilibet and Archie, accompanied them on this adventure. The question of their mode of travel also lingers. Did they soar through the skies in a private jet? Perhaps a meticulous examination of Flight Aware, a reliable flight tracker, reveals an intriguing flight path. A private jet traced its trajectory from Santa Barbara to Costa Rica, making a brief pit stop at Guanacaste Airport before touching down at Juan Santa Maria Airport. Notably, Guanacaste Airport is the more proximate choice for reaching Playa Silo, requiring a mere two-hour drive, whereas Juan Santa Maria entails a lengthier four-hour journey. Could it be that the newspaper lacked precise intel on Harry and Meghan's exact itinerary? The return flight mirrored the same route with a layover at San Diego's Brownfield Municipal before finally alighting in Santa Barbara. Now, let's scrutinize the aircraft itself. Contrary to fractional ownership models like NetJets, often dubbed the Uber of planes, the plane in question appears to have been either privately rented or generously lent to the couple. The Federal Aviation Administration's records offer tantalizing clues. The aircraft's trustee is none other than Wells Fargo Bank Northwest while the registered agent goes by the name of Paracorp LLC, operating under the alias Parisic. Parisic is adept at handling diverse business transactions, including entity formation and tax filings, adding an air of mystery. Who is the elusive owner of this jet? Both Parisic and Wells Fargo Northwest maintain offices in California and Nevada, hinting at a local connection. Curiously, the plane's previous proprietor was Aspen One LLC an entity seemingly unrelated to the Aspen Institute, a business that post megxit grappled with free speech limitations. From December 15, following the ruling, his lawyer, David Sherborne, said Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, was unable to be present today due to the short notice, and now we know Harry was on vacation. Royal fans are speculating that Harry and Meghan used Let's Godfather Tyler Perry's private jet for this trip. A lawyer said all the private jet usage comes from Tyler Perry, but this may be the last time the couple could use his private jet. Elites hate that we can track plane movements, just another reason how he and Meghan are on the mission. Tyler Perry recently shed some light on the real reason he chose to help Harry and Meghan Markle out, despite him never having any communication prior. He weighed in on everything during his appearance on the Let's Talk Off Camera with Kelly Ripper podcast. There he said, it's very important for people in this business to have a safe place to land, to have a place where they can trust and talk freely and get advice that's not going to be biased or from somebody who wants something from them. And it all began when Perry sent Meghan a note at the wedding and ended up getting a tremendous sense that Meghan Markle found it all to be overwhelming. He recounted the decision and said, I sent them a note and just said, if you ever need anything, I'm here. And she called months later and just talked to me like I was a therapist. We just had a great conversation.